Hi guys, and welcome once again to Astro Design Channel. My name is Lily, and today in this video, I'm gonna tell you about general uh, astrological prediction for the October months uh, ahead. Before I begin with the video, I invite you to subscribe to my channel to more interesting videos like that. And please put a thumbs up if you like the video and in order uh, of the recognition of my hard work. Thanks. So uh, before I start the video, I want to tell you in general how I do the predictions, okay? When I make the predictions, I only consider the significant aspects that it is conjunction, sextile, trine, and a square, okay? And oppositions, of course. For the non-personal planets, I take uh, up to five degrees, and for the personal, between three and four degrees. Therefore, not all the aspects that you see in the astrological charts that I present in these videos will be relevant. As well, I do not refer to the moon because of its rapid displacement, to which I refer only in the predictions of, uh, uh, in the videos when I make predictions about the new moon and the full moon. You have a different section for that too. So uh, generally speaking, this month starts off uh, really positive, lots of energy combined with perseverance, abilities, and slow constructions of businesses and projects. Plenty of new ideas that worth checking out this month for compatibility and execution uh, purpose, but still, don't try to accomplish anything new because of the Mercury in regression this month. We have this month's high need for socialization and cooperations, but uh, money and love issues are not the brightest this month, especially if you are in the egoistic direction in these areas and do not consider others. It is recommended to check in your birth chart where Aquarius and Libra signs are. That will be the main focus this month. So let's begin. The first week is going to happen between the 3rd of October uh, until the 8th. Eight. Sun will conjunct Mars and both are in harmonious aspect to Saturn. The warrior Mars is close to his king and willing, willing to defend his interest diplomatically. It is a good time for slow progress step by step in every area in your life, especially where Libra in, is uh, in your map. You, the universe gives you a lot of energy for application and perseverance. If you just manage to overcome your need to be okay with others, or do things behind their back in order to prevent conflicts. Although it is not a good time to start something new, the desire for it now is strong, but it is better to move forward in the existing projects. Standing in one place will cause frustration. There is also a challenging aspect uh, to this conjunction and placement of Mars and Sun because uh, they are both preferred fire signs and Libra sign. It's not their favorite at all. They strive for uh, harmony in this side uh, in every cost. These planets, of course, prefer action and not the balanced, uh, more uh, um, airy energy of Libra. So here in this sign, their true nature is a bit suppressed. Hence, their energy is not available for flowing use. And this can lead to many frustrations, aggressions, and resistance to what is actually happening in the world in the general and in the individual pun. 
this frustration and uh, too much energy can cause to uh, failed attempts of new beginnings or selfish impulsivity. There is a lot of competitive behavior here without prior thinking, which can cause material loss and physical problems uh, like from car accidents, cuts, or burns. Only an activity that benefits others, not only you, a slow and not bouncy activity will succeed now. Mercury is in regression, uh, but still maintaining a harmonious uh, aspect to Jupiter. There are many innovative ideas in areas related to society, entertainment, communications, and business. But it is better to write them down in the meantime and explore in depth, uh, depth uh, the possibilities of their fulfillment. Not every idea right now will lead to something positive because beginnings in a Mercury retrogression are not recommended. This is, though, a great time to do an analysis of the areas in which Libra placed in your natal chart. Go back and do something you did from the past and improve it. The more challenging energy is Venus. Being still in the Scorpio sign and creates a challenging aspect to Jupiter and a positive minor uh, aspect to Pluto. This is the most um, light negative aspect there is. However, it still creates a problem with boundaries, norms, values, and laziness. It can make people exaggerate and lie just to realize issues of money, love, and socialization. What is special this week is the large amount of planets in the air sign. Five planets in cardinal, the Libra sign, and fixed zodiac signs, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Taurus, which can contribute us somewhere to a balanced new entrepreneurship without the necessity to make changes, extreme, uh, extreme changes. There are now a lot of impulses for activity along with the need to be uh, systematic and not rush it. The energy is cooperative and social, so these social needs will grow and people will try to realize them. The second week is going to be between the 9th of October until the 13th. This week, Sun and Mars still in conjunction and join Mercury, and the three are balanced at a harmonious aspect to Saturn. On the one hand, Mercury's proximity with Mars is challenging because they do not like each other and can cause unwanted mouse emissions and also aggressive thoughts and unexplained fears. Sun is a planet that has the ability to burn any other planet that is next to it. And there we have two planets that can be injured by the sun's rays especially since Mars is pretty weak in Libra. All this causes nervousness and aggressive speech without thinking. So, uh, surprisingly, Saturn is the one who saves the situation. He contributes the balance that these planets need in order to get along with each other. And this reduces the negativity of the unpleasant rubbing between the three planets. But still, nervousness is in the air and any misplaced word can be interpreted as a personal attack on our ego. Venus moved to the Sagittarius sign, very optimistic place for her, although not the ideal location because she is not a friend of Sagittarius ruler, which is uh, Jupiter. But still, more pleasant than being in Scorpio for sure. There is a lot of charisma here and this desire for new experiences and pleasures. A desire to get to know as many people as possible, especially from foreign cultures who will broaden our horizon. 
So our money will now go to studies, travel abroad, travel. New dating is definitely on the agenda for everyone. Also, we should remember that Mercury is still in retrograde and what you get now will turn out to be something else later. In addition, uh, at the date of 11th of October, Saturn returned uh, to his normal route after a long regression, which means more progress, but without the ability of diagnosing what we are doing wrong. Because Saturn in regression is an excellent time uh, for um, uh, for analyzing stuff, for checking our mistakes from a, uh, from the past, from checking if our goals were the right one for us. So when Saturn moves uh, direct, we do not examine our plans and goals. We just run with it, and sometimes it can cause uh, problems and mistakes in the future. Now that Saturn is moving forward, there will be new opportunities for new goals. You should be careful to choose the projects you really want to commit to in the future. The third week is going to happen between the 14th of October until the 19th. Mercury continues uh, its retreat, so to speak, and moves away from Mars and Sun which only remain close to each other and form a challenging aspect to Pluto. There is a lot of energy here that can explode at any moment or on someone close to you, especially the spouse, or in general, it could lead to aggression around the world that would lead to physical harm to people who would participate in it. Indeed, Mars and Sun create a harmonious aspect to Jupiter, and therefore, only the supreme values can balance your conduct and prevent physical harm, especially if you channel this energy into studies, spirituality, and something special or social for others. There is expansion and abundance of energy, but also too much prodigality because of the air energy. It is advisable to write down a to-do list so that you do not get lost with all the desires, pleasures, and responsibilities that you will take upon yourself. Venus continues in Sagittarius and creates two minor but positive aspects with Mercury and Saturn. Communication with your partner improves, and through it, you can save your relationships from annoying and aggressive situations that can, that can occur because of the Mars and Sun conjunction. If you go out together abroad or to a new adventure, it will improve the relationship uh, greatly. And for the singles, it can lead to a new acquaintance. On the 18th of uh, October, Jupiter, and that his regression as well. And we will feel much more optimistic and lucky this time. In addition, there are also issues of uh, risk takings and unstoppable progress in rise. This energy will innovate or start new social reforms around the world. The first week is going to happen between the 20th until the 25th of October. Sun will soon uh, be transiting to the Scorpio sign. Over there, it will illuminate the darkness of us and in us. It will lead to a deep exploration of our emotional world and traumas and the uh, um, and the questions of control. But it will also create some challenging aspects to uh, Saturn and Uranus that can lead worldwide to protest militant events, but it's mostly in November. Pluto gets only negative uh, aspects and therefore issues of transformation in uh, laws and government as well as domestic uh, policies of countries 
maybe border some and change for the wars because of the growing need of control over people. And this can lead to changes in government because people will no longer be willing to accept the control of the authorities. On the more personal uh, pen, uh, beware of taking unnecessary uh, risks and try to control others through your ego. Most people anyway, can barely control themselves, let alone tell others what to do and how. So any egoistic election designed to lift your ego and self-esteem may receive opposition from others. If you are in key positions, it is time to do something for the common good. Passing new reforms and laws will not be helpful and will lead to problems later on. The planet Venus continues as the week before. Mercury at last emerges from its retreat and enters the period of its shadow, which means that the effect of the retreat is still felt, but on a smaller scale. Mercury recovers from the setback and meets a harmonious aspect with Saturn, which can benefit constructive communication and improvement in business around the world. The fifth week is going to occur between the 26th until the 30th of October. This week, the problems around the world are renewed. The sun entered the dark world of Scorpio on the 24th of October, and it meets a challenging aspect to Saturn and the opposition from Uranus without any other positive aspects. So all the light of the sun goes out and visit our egos and likeliness. Following radical changes in governments and laws that will not be for the benefit of the general, but more for the benefit of uh, tightening the control over common people, a wave of protest will sweep the world again, and there will be a great militancy and bigotry on the part of authorities and authority figures against the rest. Groups of extremists will oppose each other in tribal and aggressive struggles. All of this will lead to frustration and delays because Saturn does not support our authority and ego at this time. Scorpio and Aquarius signs are uh, going to be in a difficult position one against the other. And both are karmatic uh, signs. So what you did before, now you will be rewarded or the opposite around. The likeness and the, the strong desire for freedom on the part of Aquarius is in opposition from the dark world of Scorpio and from problems, material problems from Taurus. And it can take out from people their most negative traits and it will spread like a field of burning turns around the world. The more conscious people will watch what is happening from the side and will not intervene because this is the right thing to do. But the most sensitive among them will feel the frustration and loss of values of rest of the people. The feelings are like it's my way or move away from my way. There are delays and obstacles in our lives that can contribute to an inner transformation if only we succeed in not interfering in the plans of the universe and not resist them. The crisis will occur both globally and in our private lives in order to test who will survive and succeed in overcoming the dark world within. It is not about physical strength, uh, of course. We have too much uh, of it already around the world that uh, instead of building the world, destroys it. 
So uh, multiple impulsivity and somewhat childish behavior can lead to disaster right now, as well as there is a chance of natural disasters that can occur around the world. But the plus side is Mercury is back from its uh, regression and uh, he gives us abundance of good ideas that um, you can now fulfill. Of course, provided that you have made a good diagnosis and pickiness about what to apply. Multi-energy for action is still exists and it is important that the action be constructive and supportive of you and others and not harmful. So I wish you all good luck and take care. Bye-bye.